So, hi you guys. Um, Ash and I have been talking about new vlogs, new things to do, and how we can um, spread outside of Disneyland. But Ash had a good point that, you know, Disneyland's kind of Malia's home, and it's a place where people accept her. She's accepted there, and no one questions it. No one has a problem, and if they do, we don't hear it. What, what happened was, basically, these boys came as soon as they rode up on their bikes i heard one of them go like dude that's a girl and she's bald she has no hair so i'm instantly like come on man like i don't want to do this right now you know like yeah, I, I, I just got I, here. we just got here we haven't even got on the swings yet but malia asked to go on the swings and of course we're there to swing not to vlog so we put her on the swings and before that malia was trying to connect with this boy and he wouldn't give her the time of day and then malia was like you can meet black panther and spider-man it's like she knew he was a boy and she was trying to she's like trying connect to with, him she's trying to relate with him and tell him like you, you can you can see spider-man and black panther and the avengers and disneyland and he just wouldn't wouldn't even look at her put me in the swing and we're swinging and having a good time and in no fault to kids man this is how they are but they're it's honest nice. they're it's honest nice. kids um he was like you know is she gonna grow any hair or is she gonna just look like that forever and i'm like uh it's gonna grow in right babe and i'm like you know malia's like yeah and i'm like okay cool we're good oh, malia does not have to hear this you know yeah, and then he was like, well, I just have this thought, like, you know, when you guys, like, go out in public, do people, like, laugh at her because of the way she looks? And I'm like, yeah. dude. I just think that people laugh at her. Yeah, oh, yeah, he was like, I just figured people would laugh at her. And I was like, hey, no, man. And I kind of turned into a dad. And I'm like, no, dude, no one's laughing at my kid. She's fine. He's like, well, I'm not, I'm not, ma I'm not making fun of her. I'm just saying, like, you know, people might look at her and, like, laugh at her because... You know, like how she looks, she doesn't have any hair. And he's like a foot away from Malia, and I'm like, no, we're She's done. There the whole conversation. Yeah, and I said, I'm sorry, dude, we're done. Afterwards, I kind of, I asked Ash, you know, she packed up and left, and I wanted to stay with Malia and talk to her. As me and Malia were talking, I, I well, well she, I, I didn't say that, yeah. She said that her stomach was hurting. Yeah. So that's why we were leaving. I was trying to explain the situation to Ash in the corner. But she's clearly smart. But Malia was like, oh, dad, my stomach hurts. I had a feeling like, okay, well, she's probably just saying that too because she heard us or she heard them. So I explained Ash's situation. Ash went home. And so afterwards, I sat Malia down on the bench by the, the park and, you know, I just picked her brain. I was just like, hey, you know, you okay? Your tummy hurts. She's like, yeah, my tummy hurts. And I was like, okay, well, is there anything wrong? Anything bothering you? And she mentioned, you know, we were on the swings and, you know, I don't really know how to explain it. And in that moment, as a parent, you know, like, there's something wrong. And I was like, what do you mean you can't explain it? And she was like, well, I just, what's that word? Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, what's that thing? And I was like, are you, are you bothered by something? And she was like, um, no, I'm not bothered, you know, by anything. And I'm like, well, you seem a little different, you know? And, and I knew this the instant she said this. I knew there was a problem. She said, well, it's not that he said that, like, people laugh at me. It's just, like, I don't know the word. And I was like, bingo. We just, we found out. She knows someone's talking about her, and she knows that there's potential to laugh at her. And so I was like, well, what do you mean? And she's like, well, I don't know the word. And I said, are you talking about make, making fun of? And she was like, no. And then she started going like, you know, like, like this. And I said, you mean your alopecia? And she was like, yeah, you know, I just, you know, I just look different. And he basically like, doesn't know what it is. Yeah. And I said, does it bother you that he said what he said? And she said, um, well. It bothered me like a little bit, but not like a lot. And she was like, you know, it bothered me like this. It didn't bother me like this. It bothered me like this. And that, that, that hurt. Cause clearly she thought about it and it bothered her. I said, well, you know what? Hair is stupid. <laughs> I said. I said hair is stupid and um, I said I'm gonna cut my hair like you and she said why and I said well because I want to look like you 
and she actually agreed. And it's kind of been a long time thing with all of us that she wouldn't let me cut my hair, like her at least. And she would get upset if I cut my hair, if Ash cut her hair. Like she knows it's important, um, but she doesn't want to say it. But she actually said, okay, so I'm going to. And um, the kind of cool thing that um, we, the moment we shared was that, uh, you know, I, I told her, I was like, you know why that boy said that though? And she was like, no, why? And I said, well, because he doesn't know. He doesn't know any better, right? Like you can't really, um, you know, can't blame the boy. He was asking questions and he doesn't know any better. And she was like, yeah, he just doesn't, he doesn't know. And I was like, but that's why we make our videos, right? Like that's why we do what we do. And she said, like, yeah, we do our videos to raise awareness so people know and they can learn. bittersweet situation. I hate that it happened, but I'm so proud of her. Malia doesn't know we're doing this right now no, either. No, we're hiding in our room. I accept exactly how she is and love her for who she is and her alopecia and I could not see her any other way. But this is the other side of the happiness we have. It's very, very rare that we have moments like these. Yeah. But these moments put in perspective what we're trying to accomplish. You know, people just need to be more aware of the things that they say. Be more kind. <laughs> Malia loves herself. And I will do everything I can to make sure she continues to feel that way. But there will be some people out there that will test that. But today they didn't win. They just made her question. So, um, basically right now, I'm gonna have Malia cut my hair. I just want her to know that it doesn't matter. You know, I've had numerous hairstyles as her dad, and she likes them all, you know. She she always tells me I'm handsome because my hair is nice and stuff, and I think it's time to start being that same dad with, with no hair and show her that it doesn't matter at all. I think today's the perfect day to do it. Ready? <laughs> I got it in it Look. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Here, I'll help you. Yeah. Watch, watch, watch. There it goes. See it? Mm -hmm. Don't change your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't change your that. Oh my goodness. That would be bad if you shaved that. Oh, wow, Daddy. What do you think? That's so short. Feel it. Feel it. It's soft. It's a little. It's not too soft. <laughs> I think she's just, it's a change. Is it cool or what? Cool. And you help me trim my beard too. No. No, he's not gonna no, cut it. Trim it. We gotta make it look good. I like the way it is. <laughs> and there you go. That made a big piece. How's that? Wow, Dad. You kind of look like someone who like cuts hair a little bit and they just have it a little. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking though? As I'm cutting this, I don't care. I want... I think it's important okay. that I can look like you. This I think it's great. This is kind of fun. Okay, oh. up. There you go. You like can press against my head. It's not going to cut me. Uh, Go up. There you go. Do it in the front. Right okay. in the front. There you go. In the sink. There you go, dude. There, there you go. go. In the sink. <laughs> we have to go up. Go against the hair. Like you're um, brushing your fingers through it. There you go. Oh, I see it. I see it. Keep going. There you go, dude. Dad, why are you red? What do you mean? You like red. My face? Yeah. Well, I'm sunburned. Thanks for calling me out, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, not blaming you. You know why my hair, my head is white? White. Because my head doesn't see sun like your head sees sun. So yeah. your head is beautiful. Your head has a beautiful and color. And my head is white as a piece of paper. <laughs> Dad, Isn't that can funny? you do the back? Sure, dude. Can I do a heart shape? Yes, you can. Try your best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt that. 
Get it, girl. There you go. Get it. How are you feeling? I feel like I'm in the army again. <laughs> you and Daddy have the most beautiful shaped heads I've ever seen in my life. What do you think, my love? Good. You like that? <laughs> I know you're beautiful, right? Yes. Can we say you're saying from Black Panther? I am Olivia. I am strong, yeah. I am smart, and I am brave, and I am beautiful. That's right. Mm -hmm. You are, honey. That's all true, right? Daddy. Yes. Oh, thank you, baby. So that'll be it for today, you guys. Um, interesting first vlog at home <laughs> um but yes thank you for being here you guys if you did enjoy yourself please give a thumbs up uh subscribe if you'd like to be a part of our family and always remember make today your best day ever